Hello everyone, it's Martin Pahiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus and the Shortcut series. Today I'm going to start a mini-series inside the Shortcut series about the retouch tools and options in Photoshop. In this first episode of this mini-series, I would like to talk about sampling with the retouch tools. Sampling correctly is the most important thing. And of course it's very simple because all you need to do is Alt or Option click on a part of your image and then draw with that sample point. But to tell the truth, there are much more to it than that. There are a couple of things you should know about which will help you tremendously when you do retouching. First of all, you should always retouch on a separate layer to work non-destructively. It works with all the retouch tools in Photoshop. So if I create a new layer, I going to create this new layer it's command shift n or control shift n on pc and then i'm going to call this layer retouch so i have my background layer with this photo and then my retouch layer on top of it now let's just say i would like to get rid of the uh, distracting element in this image which is this uh, post here uh, the wires and the post itself so for that, I will probably select the tool called Spot Healing Brush Tool. As you can see, this has a couple of options here on the top, but most importantly, it has the Sample All Layers option. If I turn that off and I try to draw over the post, nothing will happen because my tool will only try to sample from the selected layer. If I select the background layer and I draw over that with the same tool, it will already work, but the problem with this is that it will completely draw over the original image, which I don't want to. I don't want to lose details because I never know if I need to go back and maybe see that the detail that I just got rid of. So I'm going to go back one step and I stay on the retouch layer and I turn on sample all layers. Let me zoom a bit closer, okay? And I'm going to draw over it from top to bottom like that and Photoshop did quite a good job to get rid of it automatically I can do the same thing and draw over these details here okay let me just draw, draw, draw over it again and it was visible a bit there as well it is very visible here so I just draw over it okay draw over there and I could continue doing the same thing all around here Maybe that's not the perfect retouch here, so I just draw over it again, and again, and again. And like here, I'm not really happy with the spot healing brush, so I'm going to switch to the clone stamp tool. With the clone stamp tool, you can be much more accurate, but you can also change the sampling option, not just to all layers, but you can have current and below and current layer. So current layer would be, again, uh, only sample from the selected layer, which I don't want to. But in this case, I can use current and below because there are no, not more layers. If there are many layers and you want to restrict the sampling from the layer below and the current layer that you are working on, which is still non-destructive, then you can use this option. Otherwise, you can just stick to all layers, just like with the, uh, the spot healing brush tool. So the spot healing brush tool, you don't need to sample at all. Uh, it uh, all happens automatically. While with the clone stamp tool, you have to sample. So I'm going to sample from the tree and I'm going to draw over this part here and the other part just to make it a bit more uh, believable. And here as well, I just draw over it a bit. Wherever it's a bit too foggy, I call it, when it's, it's not really clear what happened. Uh, which happens quite a lot with the healing brush tool, then I just grow, uh, go over it with the clone stamp tool. So I just clear this part a bit, something like that. Try to make it believable. Here as well, I clean it a little bit. And there's a little bit left over from the wires. So I'm going to draw over that as well. And I sample from this part here. Now I can zoom out and I don't want to go over everything, but I'm sure you get the idea how it works. And now if I turn off my layer, which by the way, I'm using a keyboard shortcut for, it's under layer and hide layers. And when I hide the layer, then it switches to show layers. So if you set the keyboard shortcut for this, I set F3, 
then you will be able to use a keyboard shortcut to turn on and off a layer. So I have my retouch layer selected and I turn it on and off just to see what I did there. So it looks quite believable. Okay, I can turn it back and leave it like that. And this is probably the most important thing about the retouch tools that you have the sample option and you can set it to all layers. And let me show you it works also with the healing brush tool. There you have the same options as for the clone stamp tool. So spot healing brush, healing brush and clone stamp tool, you can do the same thing and retouch on a separate layer completely non-destructively. There's one more thing I would like to talk about for the clone stamp tool and the healing brush tool and that is the aligned option. Let me select the clone stamp tool and you can see here I have the aligned option turned on. Now what does that mean? It's another very important thing you need to understand about sampling. So I'm going to alt click with the clone stamp tool to sample or option click and as you can see I use a soft edge brush for clone stamp tool and also for healing brush. Most of the time, 99% of the time I use a soft edge brush. Why? The reason is when you use a soft edge brush you automatically blend details into the environment. Let me just show you the difference before we talk about the aligned option. That's also a very important thing to know. So I'm going to sample from this tree, okay? Sample from the tree. And I use a keyboard shortcut to change the hardness of my brush. Control, Alt, click or right click on a PC and drag it down to have a hard edge. Okay, now if I draw with a hard edge, this is how my cloning looks like, okay? It's obvious that it has been retouched. If I change the hardness of my brush and I go over on the edges of this, I can soften it and it already looks more believable, even the shadows, okay? So very simple way to blend in your sampling uh, or details that you are retouching by just simply soften the edges of your brush that you use for the clone stamp tool or the healing brush tool, okay? Let me just go back two steps. I don't need to do this. And let's go back to the aligned option. So I have the aligned option on and I have a soft edge brush. Hardness is set to 0%. By the way, the same keyboard shortcut, which I just told you the control alt click or right click, drag right and left can change the brush size. So up and down changes the hardness, right and left changes uh, the size of your brush. And it works for all the brush tools in Photoshop. So I'm going to alt click on this haystack here. And if I have the aligned option on and I start drawing, I can create a duplicate of the haystack. And then if I draw anywhere else in the image, the uh, sampling will follow, it will be relative to the original sampling point. And as you can see, the distance between the cloning and the reference point will be always the same. So you see, I have two little crosses. One is the reference point, the smaller one. And the bigger one is the part where I'm actually drawing over. So it will always stay the same. The distance between these two points will always stay the same. So I'm always going to reference back to the original distance. But if I go back and I turn off aligned and I sample again, I do the same thing here. I draw another version of the haystack. Okay. And then I draw somewhere else on the image. You will see that my reference point stays where it was. Even though I went further away, I still have it there. So that means I can draw as many of the haystacks as I want and all over the image. So I can draw it anywhere in the image. It will always sample from the same point. That can be very useful when you want to do something like this. But of course it won't be believable because it will be always exactly the same sampling. I'm going to teach you more about the clone stamp tool later in this mini series about retouch tools when we are going to learn more about the clone source panel. But for now, that's all I wanted to show you. So remember, aligned option is very important and mainly the most important thing is the sample option and to work non-destructively on a separate layer. So I hope you learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure you join me next time and I'm going to continue talking about the important things about the retouch tools. Thanks a lot for your attention today.